A celebration took place last night on the occasion of Oman Technology Infrastructure Company launched the Helos Towers, a purchase of more than 2,500 towers infrastructure tower assets in the Sultanate of Oman, with a total of $495 million. This was highlighted at the ceremony in which the Omani Technology Infrastructure Company Helos Towers, a communications company in the field of of communications infrastructure will lead in this area in the Sultanate after it has established one of the largest portfolios, the vast towers across Africa. Today we celebrate uh, the, um, uh, the leadership of the uh, telecommunications sector in uh, divesting the passive infrastructure. Uh, it is uh, uh, an honor to be part of the story where Oman is the first country in the uh, in the Middle East uh, to um, uh, to basically um, spin off the passive infrastructure. It is healthy because this uh, will let the telecommunication companies focus on their core, core business and that is uh, providing telecommunication services while the specialists in the passive infrastructure take a leading role in developing and expanding the infrastructure to enable more innovation in the sector uh, where needed. The Omani Technology Infrastructure Company is an Omani bridge investment where the Rakiza Fund of the Oman Investments Authority acquires 30% of the assets of Oman Tel Telecom Towers in the Sultanate of Oman, while Helos Towers, a company listed in the United Kingdom, bought 70% thus enhancing network coverage, improving access across their markets. Our business model is all about sharing of infrastructure. So we're all about getting the maximum value and utilization out of telecoms infrastructure. This immediately drives down costs, creates synergies, improves quality of service. And we solely focus on the passive side of the network. So that means the power that means the property management, that means the maintenance, the security, things like that, which means that we're able to, because we're focusing on that 24-7, drive premium levels of service to our customers and to therefore the wider population at large. Um, we also come with a huge amount of financial capacity and investment, both in terms of our initial entry and the acquisition that we participated in with Omantel, but also for future growth and future development in the country. So we're very much looking forward to supporting the government's ambitions in the growth of 5G data, getting ubiquitous coverage across the whole country. This is part of Omantel's uh, current uh, strategy to monetize its non-core asset, uh, assets. And in this case, uh, these, it's the towers of Omantel and it's the passive uh, component of the towers, not the active, which is mainly the real estate part. Uh, we have managed to close the deal with uh, achieving sales proceeds of uh, 495 million US dollars with foreign direct investment in the Sultanate. And uh, that the aim also for Omantel here is uh, to, uh, to move ahead with its deleveraging plans and to reduce uh, the debt levels and uh, that, on the other hand, would reduce or optimize uh, the costs moving forward and reducing the interest costs. Helos was established in the year 2009 and currently manages more than 8,600 sites in a number of African countries. And the company expects its presence in the five new markets in Africa and the Middle East, provided that the number of towers will increase to about 15,000 towers during the coming period. Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Rabi'i, Sultanate of Oman, Television, Masa.